All right, everyone, uh, we'll take questions for Daydream Taylor. JJ? Hey, Day Day, how's it going? It's going good. How about you? Oh, not bad, not bad. How are uh, spring practices going in general for you? Uh, I feel like they're, they're looking real good for the team. We've added a lot of new pieces, and it's, it's nice to just see how they fit in and where they can fit in and just how everybody comes with a different attitude. The new players, it's, it's, it's good seeing how well they fit in with the scheme that we're trying to do here and a lot of things, so it's looking good. Are, are you guys more ahead scheme-wise? Oh, yeah, yeah, a, a lot ahead because we just – Took what we took what we did last year, and we just basically added on to it, making it more complex, making it more more difficult to play against. So uh, we're really excited to see how how the season going to go. Okay, Vinny. Hey, Adrian. Um, I, I was sort of wondering, um, since you're already blessed to be a father in life, and you sort of have that real life responsibility on your shoulders. Do you take any onus upon yourself to be even more of a leader for Coach Trailer on the field with your teammates because you kind of are already doing some of that grown up, you know, real life stuff. And, and I'm just wondering if you feel any extra responsibility as a leader uh, for UTSA football. Um, I wouldn't say extra responsibility, but I, I kind of take it upon myself to be a leader. And it, it does help because Coach Trailer. He instilled um, 210, the triangle of toughness. And, and like he told us, that could, that could be used in life. Like, I got to teach my son things about integrity, how to have passion, all, all, all of the uh, all the different elements that go into the triangle. So uh, it's just like he's taking something about football and he's he's really helping us out with the life lesson. It's just, it's just good to be here and it's good to be under someone who just knows how to, knows how to run an organization. What is that like to be a student athlete and a father? How do you how do you balance all that? Um, it's honestly it's just motivation. Like when I get up every morning and I see his, his face on my my phone screen. It just makes my day and it makes me want to go win the day. It makes me want to compete. It makes me want to do everything I got to do to make sure that he's good at the end of the day. Does does your does your kiddo inspire you to maybe you know tell your teammates you know today's the day. Let's get after it. Let's go after it. Oh, yeah, every day I'm, I'm fired up. I'm ready to go to practice just because, like, I know I got something to play for. He's my why. And you know I'm saying I love all my teammates for sure, but that's my baby. Thanks very much. Yes, sir. Hey, Greg. Adrian, it seemed like coming into spring that you guys put a little extra emphasis on uh, strength and conditioning kind of leading up to this time. Why was that important for your group? Um, because I felt like last year, the coaches, they just came in and they had to just work with what they had. But this year, Coach Follow, he actually, like, we actually got a spring this year. So Coach Follow is actually getting a chance to tune us up and get us in gear, get us ready to roll how he wants us to roll. And Coach Trailer is just letting Coach Follow have it. And we've just been progressing all, all year. Do you see a big difference, like, now compared to the start of last season in terms of that overall fitness level? Oh, yeah, definitely. Guys are way more in shape. Guys are way more active. Everybody's coming in to do extra stuff. Like it's just, you can tell it's a whole bought in team effort. How much of a challenge was that last year when this time, you know, you guys didn't have spring and everybody was kind of on their own. How different was that process? Um, it was, it was a little, it was a little nervous because everybody was back home and everybody was just doing their own thing. And like, when we got back, we didn't know what it was going to be like, but I feel like we, we bought in even last year and you could see that how well the season turned out. We just all bonded together and we came together and we ended up having a good season. Is the, is the diet component of that a little bit tough too? Like when you're on your own compared to now when you're in a team environment and there there's more control over that? Um, for the most part, I say, yeah, yeah. Cause uh, when you're alone, you tend to uh, get off, get off your, uh, get off your little routine or whatever, and you tend to be here and there. But I say with football, because follow helps us keep, keep in, you know what I'm saying, in the root, and, and he does a good job with what, what he has to do. How do you describe what Coach Philo was like in his approach to, uh, to handling you guys? Uh, like I said, I bring the energy every day. He brings it times 10 every day. And, and it's never a day when he's not, where he doesn't have the energy. He's always screaming. Not not in a, a negative way, but a positive way. He's just getting everybody going, and somebody's down. Coach follows over there talking to him, and in five minutes they're ready to go again. Got it. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem.
All right, anything else for Day Day? All right, thanks. We'll get Jalen in there next. Yes, sir.